Okay, so let me introduce this uh, amazing guy. I got to know him quite a long time ago when he was in Maxis. I, I don't know if you remember when you were in Maxis and you were doing all your uh, Second Life stuff. Now you've moved into more storyline stuff. Okay, Christopher Chu is a freelance consultant in his com own company, eCastle.net Consultancy. So please contact him if you're inspired by him. Please contact him. I'm sure he would like to engage you in different ways, uh, in good ways, in producing great e-learning. He's currently working on various projects from strategizing e-learning adoption and enhancement for corporate uh, to creating e learning and conducts workshops and talks on e-learning. He has more than 15 years of experience in building learning management systems and e-learning courses, uh, blending them with traditional classroom courses, blogs, forum, uh, mobile learning, and virtual worlds such as Second Life. He has a considerable experience in implementing blended learning programs and specializes in technology-enabled initiatives which enhance traditional curriculum and training delivery. He's actually, a, in other words, to, to cut it short, he's an expert in also in blended learning. And I think that is where most of, people, most of us want to go. We don't want to use technology fully. We don't want to use face-to-face -face fully. We want to find that nice blend. And today, his topic is fast and furious content development with articulate storylines. So can I pass it over and you can have fun with them? Okay, sure. Uh, don't okay. see where my slides are okay. online. I'm going to disappear. Okay. <laughs> okay, good morning everyone. I hope everyone is fine and well. Uh, I heard we have uh, a really good audience uh, from everywhere around the world. So this is a, a really a good privilege for me to, to share with you uh, about Storyline. I'm still waiting for my uh, slides to come up. Um, so basically, I, I'm just going to run, uh, run through with, uh, with you through uh, Articulate Storyline. Now, I just want to make note now that I am not a reseller or selling you Storyline. You want to buy Storyline, you have to go to their websites or contact their rep uh, wherever you are and you can buy the online. I am basically a user. I have been using Storylines for about uh, two years now. Uh, I've actually got a copy of Storyline. Um, just before I start, I just want to find out if you guys can hear me. Uh, if you can, just you know, raise your hands or just clap or <clears throat> say hi or whatever. So I know that you are <clears throat> uh, here with me. Can you guys hear me or see me or? Yeah, I see a lot of people typing. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, coming out of the flu, so you might hear a bit uh, sick side of myself kind of thing. Um, let's see, I'm not sure where this is. Oh, okay. I think that's my... Oh wow, okay, I see a lot of uh, replies. Yeah, okay. Disturb you. Disturb you. Uh, is, it, uh, is, is it okay if I just switch off your video? It's just, just audio based. Is that okay? Yeah, that's, that's, if you just have audio based? Yeah, but I still don't have my slide up, so we'll, I'm just waiting. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Yep. Your slide should be here. It's already uploaded. Can everyone else see the slides? Can everyone see the slides? So everybody can see the slides. So I'm not sure. Maybe your let me just sw uh, switch off your your video, and then let's see if you can see. I'll put on. Okay. Now you're there. Your audio. Can I can I hear you? Hello. Uh yeah you can I can hear you. Uh, I'm just uh, I still can't see my slides on the. You can't TV, see your slides. So... Yeah. Can you see now? Uh. I'm moving. I see you're changing slide. I'm not sure. Isn't it, uh, we can see your slides. They can see two cars. Some can people can you see your slides now? Uh no, not yet actually. Uh okay, let me just switch off. I'll try again. Let me try again. Okay, uh, I'll sure. I'll just uh, I'm not sure is it uh, uh okay. Uh no, uh
Can you see now? Not yet, actually. Oh, because I think we all can see your slides. I'm not sure why you cannot see the slide. Is that the only line you have with you? Uh, it's the only line I have, but I might be able to switch browser. Okay, you you use Internet on? Explorer. Internet Explorer? Okay. Uh, no, just use the same. And, and log, in, log in as Christopher Chu one I, I will, I'll find you and give you powers, okay? Okay, sure, sure. I'm going to log in. Log in as Internet Explorer. Okay, everyone, just uh, take, this is a, a technical problem. Uh, this happens, okay. Uh, we will get back to you. Based on accessing Internet uh, Explorer is apparently, the, you can use both browsers, but apparently the best browser is uh, Internet Explorer for Wiz IQ. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got it? You have it or not? Uh, starting the application. Okay, because then I, I will switch you off and then when you log in again, the same URL, you just write Christopher Chu 1 because you might not recognize Christopher Chu. Is that okay? Uh, Christopher Chu, yeah, 1. Uh, I see myself now. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I see. Um, hold on, hold on. Uh, I think I'm almost there. All right. All right. Yep, I see my slides now. Okay, now I, no, no, I need to switch you the old one. You, is it the new one you there? Or where's Christopher? I have to find you. Uh, it says Christopher Chu in brackets U, so I think I still sign on with the same person. Same person? Okay. Yeah. Can you, can you do the slides now? Can you move them? Yeah, I think I can move them, correct? Okay, yep. Okay, we're there. Them. Okay, that's great. Okay. So, uh, can you disappear? Just, yeah, okay, thanks, Dave. So, uh, thanks. Uh, so sorry about the uh, little uh, complication we had earlier. Uh, so I'm going to start my session now. I'm just going to give you a caution that I'm not working for Articulate or am I rewarded by Articulate to do this session. Uh, and I'm not an authorized reseller. Basically, I'm a user. So I'm giving you an honest review of uh, Articulate storyline. Because when I first, when they first asked uh, me to do a presentation, I thought uh, there were a lot of requests about asking me to give a review of uh, uh, storyline. So basically, this is my view of storyline. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I just want to ask a question. Now you can do it either raise your hand or just give me an indication. If you are currently using any software to create content, yes, I see PowerPoint. I see uh, a lot of yeses. Uh, great uh, PowerPoint storyline story. Oh, we've got a lot of storyline users here. So <laughs> Flash and PowerPoint, uh, tech, Techlize, Prezi. Uh, I think so. I don't know how you use Prezi for. I think you do use it for a normal presentation. Uh, PowerPoint all the time. Oh, great for those who are in PowerPoint. This is a good tool for you to use. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, I think a lot of trainers, a lot of teachers, a lot of lecturers, they use a lot of uh, PowerPoint to create the content. And you're gonna see how Storyline, uh, the people, the article uh, built this around people who are users of PowerPoint. Uh, I see Prezi as well a lot here. Um, no more PowerPoint for me. <laughs> okay, Professor Bukharin. All right, if, uh, just another question here. Have you tried using any articulate software? Uh, I know some of you put that storyline, so <clears throat> for some of you, have you guys started using uh, any of the articulate software? Uh, most likely it's Studio. So in Studio, you have Presenter, which is more of a uh, PowerPoint converter to e-learning. Um, you've got Engage, which basically creates templates for you to use, uh, and uh, also uh, a quiz maker, which actually allows you to create a quiz maker. So, so you, some if you say no, someone say Noodle. Wow, I didn't know there was a system called Noodle. <laughs> okay, great. <clears throat> so we have uh, got a group of people. Well, yes, we've got uh, Adobe and all that. So, <clears throat> so just in case some of you think that I, if I'm just using Storyline, no. Uh, this is my journey. Uh, I first started using uh, Dreamweaver, Fireworks, Flash to create e-learning content. And this is way back in 2001, 2002, when uh, Dreamweaver, Fireworks, and Flash were still uh, part of, uh, <clears throat> yeah, on their own. <clears throat> uh, and then later it was brought over by uh, Adobe. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. 
of course then my, my microsoft powerpoint uh and uh then there was also a uh, thing i don't know if some of you heard this before Autoware Attain was really a difficult uh, e-learning course uh, content creation software, but it had a very high learning curve. So a lot of people who bought it, use it, couldn't create much unless you were, uh, what do you call that, um, a programmer or come from an IT background. But we know that most, that most of the uh, people or uh, create, uh, content creators don't really come from a IT background. People like me, for instance, I don't come from a, a, an IT background. I come from uh, an accounts and marketing background. I just got to e-learning because I had to create e-learning content for survival. And I will probably tell you that in, uh, in the future what I meant by that. But then I started using things as Articulate Studio. I've got I've used uh, Presenter, uh, Engage, and also Quizmaker. I've also dabbled with Captivate, the latest one, uh, Captivate 6 which is uh, also a great and very powerful tool, but uh, very you need to have a, a slight learning, uh, a learning curve to use it. And the other one I'm use, also using right now is Lectora. Uh, Lectora is also like a, of uh, Articulate Studio, uh, and it, it's, it's quite uh, easy to use as well, but it is not as easy as Articulate Storyline. Okay? So I'm, this is my, basically my journey in, uh, of how to use all these systems. Uh, I move to the next slide. Now, this is basically what I like about uh, Storyline. Number one, it's very easy to use. It has a very low learning curve. It is made right, really like a PowerPoint uh, interface. So people who've used PowerPoint before will, uh, will find it very easy to get on board. Okay? It's mostly click, drag, drop, uh, and create the content. Now, while uh, we're talking about storyline, about PowerPoint, uh, I'm not touching about instruction design here, but you need to design something on paper base before you move something uh, uh, into storyline. Uh, and I find it very helpful to have something still paper based. So I'm still very 1.0, very traditional, and also very uh, innovative with, with uh, storyline as well. Uh, so it's very easy to use. It has a low learning curve. You can uh, tr try it for yourself, and you find it's very easy to, to. I didn't go for any class to learn how to use this uh, storyline, which is that, that's why I say it's that great. You can also import your PowerPoint slides or any courses that you create in storyline into your uh, canvas, which means that you don't really need to start from scratch. It is great for people who want to start from scratch, or for lecturers or for trainers who already have their, their slides up, and you can just uh, import it, and you can start working from there. So this is also another great tool. You don't have to start from scratch. You can start from where you, uh, or what you already have. They also give a very good cartoon character with one uh, person image. They've got a lot of resource uh, in, in this as well, which you can go to their website. You can join a community. You can join a forum there, and they will share with you a lot of things. So. Uh, the one thing I like about it is they have very good cartoon character image, which looks very professional. Very easy to use. You can customize it to how you like it. Um, the, there are other softwares that give you cartoon character images, and I've seen them, but they're not as professional as Storyline, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, try. Uh, it's also very easy to publish to various formats. Now, it's the same for almost all the software today, except for a few. If you use, if you use uh, Dreamweaver, uh, Flash, and, uh, and uh, Fireworks, uh, if you still use Fireworks or you use Move, you can move to uh, Adobe Illustrator and, and Photoshop to do that uh, part. But it's, you still need to do some uh, programming in order for you to do SCORM, for instance. Um, <clears throat> you can do clip art. Actually, you can get clip art from, you can actually import clip art from PowerPoint into Storyline. But that's another uh, chapter altogether if you want to learn how to do it. Um, so you can publish into various formats like uh, SCORM, AICC. They even have one uh, version for Tin Can at the moment, but I've not tried it. Uh, you can uh, publish it to uh, EXE files, so people you can actually download it into CD format, uh, burn it into a CD, and then send it to some uh, students who do not have internet access. Now I know somebody says. So we are in this technology, but you got to realize that some pe some students don't have internet access. I was in a forum last week where some of the students are in these rural areas 
where internet connection is a dial up 56k modem still so in those you might want to consider giving cds so if that uh articulate uh sorry that allows you to publish into cd format as well which is great uh they also have uh, uh, like i said earlier they also have a active forum with specialists with users around the world which you can uh join in their website uh, it's called community you can also go into LinkedIn, and I believe there's one in uh, Facebook as well, which you can join, and people will post questions, and people will also post answers there. It's a very active forum group. So a lot of things that I cannot, I do not know what to do, although I have this fantastic idea, like do this flashy thing, or do that uh, fantastic illustration, or do try to create a great game. They actually, uh, you can go to those uh, forum sites and ask, or they might already have it there. People share templates. They people share stuff there. Even uh, uh, there was a group that was sharing fonts that they would like to use. So those those are like some of the cool stuff you can get without going elsewhere to look for those materials. So these are the five really good things I like about Storyline. What I don't like about Storyline, as I think all of you will agree, would be price it costs something like 1005 uh, USD uh, for the software but it's not that expensive if you compare to some but I still uh, if you if you go into Adobe captivate they've got this fantastic uh, pricing structure and I'm hoping maybe storyline can adopt that same uh, pricing structure for uh, for those of you who would like to uh, or were in education in universities or schools or whatever, they have got a special packaging pricing for that as well. So that's the only thing I really don't like about Storyline uh, other than, uh, uh, there's another thing, it does take up a lot of memory space uh, in terms of uh, power, processing power. So you need to have something like an i5 to really work on it. Uh, when I first started using it, I found it, it takes a little time for me to, to load the cost. And the bigger the cost gets, uh, it, it tends to sl uh, lag down your systems, but I think that's almost the same in any systems you use. Um, I'm seeing a question here. Sometimes uh, software tends to uh, cramp creativity and imagination. I think the imagining uh, creates that is really up to you. To be honest, you can be really creative in how to you create your courses. Uh, it's a tool. Uh, if you don't know how to use a tool, like for instance, if I give you a hammer and you hammer a nail the other side, <laughs> you don't get your hammer correctly. So I would say you can use it as a tool to use to create your content. But uh, like I like I said, said earlier, I'm really into blended learning. I don't believe e-learning is the only way. I believe it can help you to create to 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 deliver your course, but it's not always uh, just e-learning. So, but that if you want me to talk about uh, blended learning, is another another time, okay? Uh, so these are the five things I like about uh, Storyline, and uh, a couple of things I don't like about Storyline, <laughs> all right? All right, you can download uh, a free copy of uh, a full free copy of Articulate Storyline for thirty days for free. You can go to the website. This is free trial. You just have to. Uh, into some of your 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 information and then download for free. Now, I always advocate no try, no buy policy. If you don't let me try, I'm not gonna buy it. Now, some uh, other softwares, what they do is they will allow you to try only some things. Uh, what I like about Articulate is that they let, allow you to download the actual entire product, which you can uh, create and publish. Uh, into an e-learning course, uh, completely free, and it's there's no uh, there is no obligation or no uh, condition set to it. This is what I really like about Articulate. Okay. So uh, yeah, I, uh, yes, Professor, Professor Karen, uh, you don't no try, no buy. Remember that anything, not just soft, not just uh, e-learning course uh, software that includes LMS systems that you want to buy because these are not cheap stuff. All right. Don't tell. Don't let the uh, vendors come and tell you. Yes, it, it works fantastically and everything. Uh, because I find in my experience, you need to try them before you buy them. Wife, <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's true. Uh, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> All right, so let's go for the ride. I'm going to take you through uh, storyline right now, and I've done some screen captures 
uh, because in interest of time, I cannot give you uh, show you the whole uh, uh, storyline for uh, for screen sharing because I think there will be some technical uh, problems along the way. So I'm going to do some uh, I've done some screen captures about storyline. Okay. So let's ride. All right. So when you start storyline, this is what you typically will see. Uh, you will see there's a template behind that starting line kind of thing. Now I want you to really focus on this part called the, the create a new project. Now what is fantastic about it is that one, uh, it cr you can create a completely new canvas PowerPoint style by using new projects. You can import PowerPoint into your slides, no need to recreate. So you just carry on and uh, and think about how you make it interactive, how you make it really interesting. I I, I really love uh, Dr. Marina's uh, a session earlier about how to how you engage learners and how you use games and things like that. Now, this one doesn't really have a game, but there are some games you can download as a template and then import it into Storyline and you can use it, which is great. So, you can import stuff like PowerPoint and uh, uh, even QuizMaker if you already have them. So, you don't have to create quizzes from start. Uh, you can also create from a project template. Now, behind you can see there's building quizzes, customizing player, all that is actually templates that you can download. Once you download the storyline, it's available to you, uh, and you can just click, drag, drop, insert content, publish, pump, you're there, kind of thing. So this is fantastic, uh, what I thought. You can also record screen. Now, uh, you can turn your, your uh, screen into a video capture, which after you, if you record the, the session, it will split into three modes, which is demo, demonstration, where you will let uh, people see how it's done. Then you can let them try. It's a guided uh, test kind of thing, which allows you to have pop-up balloons uh, and guide the, the, the learners on how to use a system. So we were talking about earlier about how uh, you should teach people how to use LMS. This is also a great tool you can uh, can create to teach people how to get on board or induct them into using LMS using this demo demonstration. You can let them try. And the third one, you can also do tests. So once you've, you, you only need to record this one time, it will split all this tree for you. You will, de you will do demonstration, you can do guide, and then you will do test. Now if the users click on the wrong thing, it will evaluate and give them a zero mark. If they click on it correctly, it can give you a five, 10 marks, depending on uh, how important uh, the, the marks are. So this is a great uh, starting point uh, for you when you started, you, you know, think about whether you want to do a new class, a new, complete new project, or you want to import from your existing project, or if you want to do screen capture. Now, there is another software called Captivate that does that. Uh, Camtasia also does a screen capture as well. Uh, they are all fine. They are fantastic. There are certain softwares that doesn't allow you to. And I think uh, Lectora, if you want to, you need to buy the entire suit before you can only uh, do this record session, right? <clears throat> all right, so this is a great starting line. So this is a, an overall look of uh, storyline. So you got your menu bars on top, which do you agree with me that this looks something like PowerPoint? Well, if you do agree, just raise your hand, say hi, smile, do whatever. Uh, yeah, it looks exactly like PowerPoint. Well, no, not exactly, but it looks somehow like PowerPoint. All right? Yeah, it's plagiarized PowerPoint. Good thing Microsoft didn't really uh, patent the, the entire thing, but. I think uh, uh, Articulate and uh, Microsoft probably have a deal on, on a set that kind of thing. <laughs> right, so you see on top you have the basic menu, which you have home, insert, design, uh, animations, view, and help. And then on, on the bottom you can see that the design looks pretty much like the new uh, Microsoft PowerPoint 2000, uh, 2008 onwards, uh, which you can then click and then uh, drag and drop or, or and then work in your canvas, which is the middle part. You have your tabs. Your your by default, the first tab is the story, uh, the scene, which we're going to afterwards. And every time you open up a new uh, scene, it'll open up on a new tab. So it'll help you uh, manage the, the the way you create content. All right. Then there's a scene, uh, which you can create. I'm gonna go about a bit later. There's a timeline. The timeline looks a lot like Flash and Movie Maker, so you can actually control what comes up, what comes next, that kind of thing. Interactions is where you can create uh, interactions, animations, that kind of thing. So I'll, I'll go to it right now. I don't have much time left. Uh, okay, so making a scene. Now this is uh, what is great about making a scene. 
uh, you need to do, you, if you want to have uh, good flexibility, it's great. Now, you, there are two types of, uh, of scene you can do. One is a linear type, which you, the learners will have to go step by uh, page by page next kind of thing. I'll give you two examples. On the left, you see that the learners go from one step to one to the next uh, scene to the next scene. So it's a guided scene kind of thing. So you will guide the learn learners in a linear mode. The other one is uh, a do-it-yourself. So you can see on the top side, you, uh, it looks like uh, one scene that, that links to another kind of thing. Uh, and it has a lot of, of scenes. This is not a, a guided tour. So this one, basically, I, I, I get people to go to the main menu and they click on what they need to learn only and then they exit from there. So this is great for if you want to do a linear type and if you want to do a DIY type. Uh, most of the softwares, I don't see this, and this is a great part, uh, uh, another great thing I like about Storyline, okay? If you have any questions, just go ahead and, and type in, and I'll try to answer them as, as much as I can. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, I, I'm going to zoom in into Storyline right now. If you can see, this is a pretty much like, uh, like PowerPoint again. So you got a home, insert design animations view. Home is like a basic overall project. Insert, you can insert slides, graphic, sounds, interactions, animations. is uh, about creating and transitions and components. Design is a slide master. So it's very design like uh, PowerPoint. So you can, for those of you are very familiar with PowerPoint, can switch, go on board uh, Storyline without learning how to use the software. Don't believe me? Download and try, okay? <laughs> Download and try. Remember, no try, no buy policy. Um, do I provide ID? If you want me to, uh, to talk about uh, instruction design, yes, I do call, uh, uh, training on uh, instruction design. Uh, I've done a session on uh, putting uh, blended, uh, robust blend learning program together. Yeah, I do that as well. Yes, <laughs> very uh, similar to Open Office and uh, okay. So this is the end of the, the interactions part. Now the interaction part is very simple. You just create a button, and a button is like creating a shape. You put a, 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 a line to it, and this a description to the line. Then after that, you just have to click on a, a trigger. You create a trigger. Once you create a trigger, and you can double click on that part is on the on this side. Uh, let me put a pointer. You, this is where you can create. Uh, draw. This is where, you, uh, let's say, you create your buttons, okay? Uh, and this is where you can, if you double click on this part here, it will open this wizard here, all right? Now, I've, I've actually made this bigger. Um, how do I, okay, I'm going to come back to that question. How do I compare Studio and Storyline, okay? Uh, once you create a, a trigger, uh, this wizard comes out. Now, this wizard is very simple. You can see it's a drop-down menu. So the action will go, when you click on it, it will say jump to slide, open a layer, go to the website, go to this uh, page, go to that. So it, it, the action defines what you want to do when the user clicks on it or hovers on it. It will then tell you uh, where you want to go. If you say jump on slide, where, which slide you want to jump to. Uh, and when, user can hover on it, user when they click it kind of thing. Uh, and also what object. So basically everything you need to do in terms of interaction is here. Uh, so again, you don't need to have programming language. You don't have to like say HRF, uh, go to this website kind of thing, All right? Uh, when recording a video, didn't say there's a meta AVI impact. Um, it, it, once you create, it becomes a slide on its own. So when you uh, save it as a storyline, you can save it as a storyline file. When you publish it, you can publish it uh, on different sort of uh, uh, formats you want to talk about, uh, AICC or uh, AICC or SCOM or other formats as well. So it didn't really save as an ABI or MPEG. When you, when you save it, when you record it, it will save into your project file. And after that, you can then use it whenever, okay? Right, so this is the, the cool stuff I was talking about, uh, the cartoon characters. Now, some, some clients I work with, they prefer to have actual people. And this is a good guide for you to take pictures if you want to have, you know, how should your people pose, that kind of thing. So in, in this, uh, for instance, you can choose the type of character. Unfortunately, they, I, I can't uh, 
put all the names, but you can, when you download, you can see there's a lot of characters going from young to old, male, female, different races or different colors. Um, you can also choose a type of, of clothing, whether they are formal, informal, casually formal kind of thing. Uh, you can then choose the expression, whether they're happy, sad, uh, angry, uh, perplexed, uh, things like that. You can also choose the way they, they face, left, right, center. Uh, you can also choose a different type of pose. And they've got a lot you can choose from. So you can really create a lot of this interesting, and it looks very professional when you put it inside. Um, so these are some of the cool characters you can use. Uh, and given, it's given free when you download the software. You don't have to like download stuff or buy new stuff. You want, if you want to have uh, real people, you can actually buy the pack, which is quite an expensive kind of thing. All right. So, uh, okay, questions. Uh, basically, I finished this is a very fast and, and furious type of uh, review of storyline. Uh, I can't give you a very in detail depth, uh, uh, depth of uh, uh, the storyline. Okay, uh, I saw one of the questions. Um, how, how do I compare studio and storyline? Studio, I would say it's more of a PowerPoint. You work from a Microsoft PowerPoint. So you need to have PowerPoint in order to, uh, to create content. Storyline, you don't need. You can create content straight from it. So, wow, yeah, Spaceman Zaid. The bubble. I think that's a signal for me. To, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I just want to ask yeah, you a sure. question. Uh, since I have the power to ask you, no, I think um, uh, we definitely have to invite you again to do a webinar with mm -hmm. us. Uh, whether you hope you can do a a, a freelance yeah, yeah. one uh, or a workshop later, because we actually have uh, licenses or articles storyline, but we don't have an ex a real expert in it. Uh, but my question is now, since Articular has the Articular mm -hmm. presenter and the studio, and then they have the Articular storyline. And there's a lot of overlapping features. Now, do you foresee that uh, there will be one uh, product in the future, or they're actually going to have two uh, product diversing at the same time, converging in many areas? Um, oh. uh, that's my <laughs> real question, because I think that's uh, people want to really know: Should I buy a studio when a Storyline can do many of the same things as a studio, and you know, and okay. so on? Okay. So those of you who have not what do you bought think? Uh, Storyline or Studio. Uh, these are the few things you need to consider. If you already want to build your content from Microsoft PowerPoint, you, you can get uh, Articulate Presenter uh, and Quizmaker uh, or Studio, uh, which gives you all the three packs. If you have already uh, a studio and considering whether you want to go to uh, Storyline, it's really up to you. Uh, it's, if you got the money to buy, buy kind of thing. My, I think the where I'm coming from is that it's um, yes, there's overlapping between the two. The only limitations of a uh, presenter is that you need to have Microsoft PowerPoint. If you don't have Microsoft PowerPoint, you cannot uh, you cannot integrate a presenter because presenter resides in PowerPoint, where storyline is on its own. Okay, is that is that quite clear? But yes, they both do the same thing. Uh, the other thing about presenter is that you only can create content from PowerPoint. Where storyline, you can create from PowerPoint. You can, uh, if you got a flash, or you can insert movies and kind of stuff. You can do it straight from storyline. You don't need to have uh, PowerPoint. Although most, I know most people have PowerPoint in the first place as well. Uh, Articulate is the company, Storyline is the product. So we put together Articulate, uh, Storyline, that's the product. There's another one called Articulate and Studio, Articulate Studio, which has Presenter, Quizmaker, and Engage. Does that uh, answer the question? Great, okay, so uh, let me just... Like Proton Saga. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Proton, <laughs> and then Saga, Proton, and you like kind of thing. Uh, okay, this is my contact, uh, if you need, uh, if you need more, uh, to connect with me, if you, I'm also in Facebook. If you look for Zay, I'm sure you can look for me, kind of thing. I'm also in the LIC group, uh, so you can connect me through there. Yeah, uh, let's and let's promote that group. That's thank you for promoting. It's that a group. great. great. I, I, uh, <laughs> I'll put it in the. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, join our group. We are active. Okay, there's. A, I just want to say thank you again no very problem. much. Uh, I would like to give you more time, but this is for this is our first online seminar. We have so many speakers, and I think that's the beauty when you taste something 
and you want more, that's a great yeah. presentation. Uh, and that's Thank a great you, interaction. I think to everybody, can we just clap for yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have two great speakers. And what more can we ask for? And we're going to have more. <laughs>